guys and welcome back to the nurse nook my name is alexis nicole and i have been a registered nurse for over four and a half years now and i'm currently in the nicu i make videos all about nursing lifestyle and how to survive as a registered nurse so today's video is all for my new grad nurses now, it's not just specifically for new grad nurses. This can be relevant if you're a nursing student or honestly, even someone that's thinking about becoming a nurse or even nurses that are new to specialty. Honestly, this is just for everybody. I'm gonna share with you guys four of my favorite tips for new grad nurses. This video is sponsored by Incredible Health. If you guys have been watching my videos or following me on Instagram, you know I've been working with their company for quite a while now. So if you're unfamiliar with Incredible Health, they are a platform that helps get nurses jobs permanent jobs in 20 days or less which if you have applied to jobs before you know is a very quick turnaround now that is like from date of application to date of starting work so previously incredible health only really worked with experienced nurses there weren't many opportunities on there for new grads or nurses that didn't have much experience however they have just launched a new campaign and they are now working with new grad nurses y'all so by the end of 2022 500,000 nurses are expected to retire and leave the profession right that is a huge gap to fill. So in order to help fill this gap, Incredible Health is working with hospitals across the nation to help nurses get hired. If you listen to nothing else in this video and you yourself are in your grad looking for a job, please work with Incredible Health. I literally, if I was a new grad or if I was looking for a job, this would be the number one place I would go to. It is the most streamlined, easy process. You create a profile, you are assigned an advocate that works with you, helps prepare you for interviews, will even give you information on the hospital that you are interviewing with so you have background information so that you can sound intelligent and very interested in the facility. I truly love this because it gives new grads a choice of where they want to work, what city, what hospital, what unit. You don't feel like you have to settle and pick whatever comes your way first. Now we have options. I will leave information down below. I will leave a link for you guys. Again, whether you're a seasoned nurse or new grad, if you're looking for a job in the nursing field, highly recommend great great resource now for the tips i have for you guys number one which is one of my favorite tips that i have done at every new facility hospital and unit that i've worked in and that is dedicate a small journal or notebook for your job i bring this notebook to work every single day every time especially on orientation every time i either learned something new learned a new medication um, took care of a new disease process set up for a procedure for a provider did some type of like discharge or paperwork i would write it down in that book now there are many benefits to this number one being when you write something down scientifically you are way more likely to remember it which is obviously a benefit but also it saves you time of um, having to find someone and ask a question especially if the person doesn't know the answer and then you might have to go find someone else and maybe call the charge nurse it is just not conducive to time and you guys know off rip nursing is busy and a lot of people don't even have time to sit down so if you could find a way to cut corners not cut corners but save yourself some intentional time why not do it right also it just really helps make you look really good when you can like reference something in your own little self-made reference journal when someone asks a question like that's just a really good look the second tip i have oh my gosh this one is huge especially if you are a well this video is for new grads so duh lexi this is just an important tip and that is to seek out opportunities and what do i mean by that if you are new to a specialty and you say you came from i don't know let's just say you were doing a clinic um nursing right you were a nurse in a clinic if you have never started an iv before right and you're on a unit and you're uncomfortable with iv skills and you're kind of like shaky when it comes to them seek out opportunities to start ivs whatever the procedure is whatever you're uncomfortable with seek out opportunities to do it more because let me let you in on a little secret here you're not gonna get any better by not practicing okay i don't care how much you hate it if it's something that's required 
if it's something that's required for your job, just practice it and get good at it, okay? It doesn't matter if you hate IVs. Just do it, just, just learn it, okay? There's some procedures that I absolutely hate doing and I'm like, oh my God, I hate doing this. But it's always better to be good at something than to never do something and not know how to do it. And plus, like I said earlier, the more you know, the more you'll be respected. Unfortunately, that's how it works sometimes. My third tip for you guys is to ask questions. Ask as many questions as you possibly can. Now, this refers back to my first tip that I gave you guys on writing down answers to things and to writing down like new procedures and like what supplies you need for certain things. Ask questions, but when you get the answers to those questions, make sure you write it down somewhere so that you can reference the question and you're not just like aimlessly asking questions over and over and over again and your preceptor is looking at you like, girl, do you not listen to anything I say? Now, if you're like getting ready to do something and you're not sure about it and you know that you've asked this question before, you have to burp, excuse me. I always say a safe nurse is a cute nurse, okay? So even if you are embarrassed, even if you might've asked this question before and you don't necessarily remember exactly what you're supposed to do ask anyway okay no one is going to penalize you for asking questions and even if they do that's so ugly of that person and they should not be in nursing okay because if it was my nurse i much rather them ask a question just to double verify and be sure than do the wrong thing on me as a patient okay so ask as many questions as you can but again write down the answers to these questions that way you can solidify and always reference back and even if one day when you do become a preceptor you can teach someone else from your little reference journal and the fourth and final tip i have for you guys today is to ask for feedback so you can't improve on something if you don't know that you could be doing something better so this is something that i've always done in my orientation period with my preceptor i would always stop and ask hey like is this right am i doing this right like how do you think I do this well? And most of the time my preceptors gave me very, very helpful feedback um, back to me. And so it really just helped to give like that insight like, oh, hey, like just by the way, like this is something that I do differently. Maybe, maybe you can do this a little differently. Again, this goes back to like asking questions. Asking for feedback is also important because sometimes with preceptors, they don't like to overstep boundaries and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but especially if you're like an experienced nurse, if you're working with a preceptor and they see that you know what you're doing, sometimes people don't like to be like, oh, hey, like this is not really the best way or like here's a different way that you can do things. And you know, some people just don't want any kind of like tension or any kind of conflict so if you give that like open communication to be like hey like if there's anything i can improve on like please let me know i'm open to feedback and that's another thing when you're going into nursing especially as a new grad you need to leave your ego at the door okay criticism comes with nursing unfortunately but it's not only negative criticism so People can give you constructive criticism on like, hey, that's not really the best way to do something. This is an even better way. Or like, hey, that was actually wrong. Like we don't normally do that. And you know what, that's okay. Some people have trouble with receiving criticism and see it all as something negative and like, oh, this person's against me. Like I know everything, blah, blah, blah. And that is not the way to be in nursing, okay? You need to leave that attitude at the door because we are taking care of real human lives here and we need to know the best way that we need to be doing things. Like I said, a safe nurse is a cute nurse and we always wanna be the best possible nurse that we can be. And we wanna make sure that we're always building our knowledge and constantly learning more and perfecting our practice. I actually may do a part two to this video because I have a lot more tips I can give you guys. If you guys wanna see a part two, let me know down below or if you guys have any other tips to share, also leave those down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.